Flying Littlemas Cross. Talks of Fruits and Vegetables. Dex. And uh, we are going to start doing episodic vlogs for the new 2017 DuckTales series. Woohoo! We are pretty excited. Uh, today we're going to talk about the first one. Yep. Uh, today's going to be a little different than what we will subsequently be doing in that we are going to just briefly talk about the new intro, the voice cast, maybe a little on the animation, and then we'll get into a synopsis of the episode and like our thoughts on um, the episode in general, which is kind of a two-parter, but kind of also a solid thing. Spoilers. There will be spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Not in this first part so no. much, because it's just a general overview, but definitely when we actually talk about the episodes, yeah, there's going to be spoilers. And I mean, you can watch it on YouTube. The Disney Channel put the whole thing up on YouTube. We'll put a link in the description. You can watch it there. Support them, because God, honestly, guys, this is really good. It was really good. This is how you do a reboot correctly. And I mean that, I mean, we're talking quite a bit from it just being one episode, you know, air quotations that I can't do because I have no fingers. Yeah, thank you. Uh, one episode, but honestly, it was really good. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, let's first start talking about the intro. So the um, new intro is sung by Felicia Barton, I believe is her name, and... What else has she done? I have no idea, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I do not know. I'll say she, she did a good job of representing yeah, I, I think, Dave. Yeah, I think it did good. I like it because it wasn't trying to um, do more than the original thing. It wasn't trying to be better yeah, than the original thing. Yeah, I actually, when I heard it, because um, I hadn't heard the original for a very long time, I really thought they just read it exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Like, it seemed exactly the same to me. Like, just as I remembered it, it was great. It essentially covers everything yeah. you need. Um, That's a really good animation for yeah, the, yeah. The, anime, the visual animation like, for it's the... It's very, um, very fluid. You go, you run through all the characters really well. That's like a comic book yeah, style yeah, yeah, yeah. of the, animation. Yeah, the comic books from, but I believe, the 60s? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think I think these are the newer ones. I well, think. they have new ones, but yeah. I think that cool. it's based on the original, the style of the original comics for the DuckTales mm -hmm. um, run. Look into that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Google it later. Yeah, but yeah, it was really good, and it definitely reminded me of the original mm -hmm. in a really good way. Like, it got that inner child excited for yeah. the Saturday oh, morning cartoon. And also, the first episode is entitled Woohoo. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> <laughs> which is perfect. And honestly, like, if I can just cut in for a second, I think Disney's doing really great on cartoons over the last few months or last year or so if you want to include a bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't want to plug too many things. But I really I really enjoy their Mickey Mouse shorts. Oh yeah, the Mickey Mouse shorts are really I good. I haven't seen that one. Uh, okay. we, 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 we watched a bunch of them when we were singing oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like more recent. So then, I, yeah, oh, more recent, those. yeah, but I, I'm still yeah. watching And then of course they them. got like... Uh, Rapunzel! Like, yeah, the Rapun the Tangled series, which is really good. Uh, actually, I like it more than the movie. I don't care for it. You have it's definitely more it. funny than the yeah. movie. I plus, like both. Plus it has Cassandra. Yes. What's its name? <laughs> Owl. Owl. Um, and then for me, as someone that actually watches all these other Disney cartoons, I really like uh, Elena of Avalor, and I like the, the Lion Guard, so I'm pretty but, happy. But duck but back to duck back to uh, one, one last thing. Goof Troop reboot. <laughs> I would yeah. really want that. I think they're rebooting Darkwing Duck. Yes, that's. Uh, awesome. I think it was. I think it was announced when they said the so, uh, Ducktales. That that'll be pretty good. That I would want the returning voice cast though, Doubt at it. least for Darkwing. <laughs> okay, so with that, <laughs> what are the main characters' voice oh, cast? Oh, okay. So yeah, we have a completely new voice cast. Uh, they didn't end up actually taking back any of the voice cast from the original series. So we're just gonna quickly um, talk about each uh, individual character of the like the main ones that we saw in this little bit and say our thoughts. So uh, first of all, we have Scrooge McDuck being played by David Tennant. Really good choice. I think it's a really <laughs> good choice. I think he's doing a really good job. His inflections are pretty good. He's got a little bit more of like a youthfulness to his tone. Yeah, yeah I like, think that's what I didn't like about it because of um, the character's voices, his, I found, was one of the ones where it's like... It's not as grungy. Really, yeah, it's really different from the original. It's, well, it's not It's not that same kind of like curmudgeon old... Yeah, like I... Kind of I got so used to him sounding old and like grumpy mm. and like gruff. 
But, and he doesn't have that anymore. No. But I think that this one will grow on you, because what they're going for is a different kind of Scrooge. He's oh like yeah, I'm sure show. it will grow on me, but it's definitely different. I Personally, I like it. I know T-Fab likes it. I really like it's grow. It's going to grow on Little Miss, so. <laughs> I, I, I really like Glumgold's. Uh, We're not boys. talking about Glumgold's. <laughs> Focus! Focus! <laughs> Uh, next, we will talk about the boys. Now, originally in the uh, the 1987 version, all three boys were voiced by the same uh, the same voice actor, which was uh, Rusi Tyler, or Taylor, sorry, I believe. Um, <laughs> so they all sounded identical. You literally couldn't tell them apart. Yeah. Um, this time around, they actually not only altered the designs a little bit, but actually bothered to get personalities, uh, personalities yeah. that are. I'm so happy for that. That are. Um, like, not to say that originals didn't have personalities, but it was a lot harder to make out. Yeah, like, like if, the... if they all wore the same color t-shirt and, like, hat in yeah. the original, I would not be yeah. able to identify they were, I them. I mean, their purpose was just to be, like, the catalyst for the audience to go through the story. Oh, yeah, of so course. They, they, but at least in this one, they're, they're trying to, like, um, update it, modernize it, I guess you could say. Hmm. Uh, so, first we have Huey, who is voiced by Danny Pudi. So, thoughts? I don't know who that is. Uh, he, if I'm remembering correctly, he was in, um, uh, what was that show? You, you mentioned it earlier. Community. Yeah, community. I, I, yeah, I oh, think well, I plays on it. Yeah. For all of the boys, I found that their voices were really good, and it fit them. It fit them, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we have, uh, Dewey playing by Ben Schwartz, who I believe is Canadian. So, he's doing a good job there. And mm -hmm. then, um, for Louis, we have, uh, Bobby Mionihan, I believe. I, I can never pronounce these last names very well, but I'm trying. Uh, again, all all of the boys are being played yeah. really well, and I'm quite happy with them. We're gonna get onto a character that Little Miss is kind of controversial about. Am I? Uh, Webby is uh, played by Kate. I will, I can never say her last name correctly. Um, Misuchi, Misuchi, something. We'll put it up on screen. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll add it. Right here. Um, <laughs> She's playing Webby. I personally like her as Webby, but I'm also more accustomed to the voice because she was a Velma in a recent series as well for Scooby Doo. So I'm Mi used to that. Wait, 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 Mystery Incorporated? I don't remember she, if she was the Mystery Incorporated Velma. Or the What's New Scooby Doo? One. Webby she might just, be the What's New Scooby Doo. She just doesn't sound like a child. But I think that'll grow on you. Maybe, but. It's I'm not a big weird. Webby fan. Be for me, with what they're, I, but like, that says it has nothing to do with well, no, like the character. The thing is, like, how they sound. Yeah, they like, sound. Do they? Does it like personally? Fit? It doesn't. It's, it's not as me. annoying. So I, it's more bearable, I guess. For me, I, I don't mind it because yeah, one, it's not an annoying like five year old voice. S that's, true. that's true. It's um, just and I, it doesn't the, the, seem the, like when she spoke. I'm like that's coming out of that. <laughs> I've seen way worse. Can we talk about Jack Frost in uh, Rise of the Guardians? That was way worse. Uh, at, least, at least his age range was at least somewhat so. kind of. This one, this, I still think it's fine. Like, she has a good inflection. She's yeah, but really it energetic. Seems, it seems like at least a 20-year-old voice. I and think, on uh, what? How old is they? Is their children? <laughs> I don't know we'll, their general, we'll go, we'll, we'll go like know their general <laughs> duck yeah, ages. What, what <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're Do they kids. have duck ears? <laughs> they probably have duck ears. They're kids. They're kids. Um, I think she's fine. Launchpad Yeah, Launchpad <laughs> is actually uh, being voiced by Beck Bennett. Great job. So that was good. Um, I don't like him as much as I liked the original voice actor, but well, well, what they, I think he'll grow on me. I think it's just because this I one's a lot, up, a lot stoop. This one's a lot stupor. Yeah, I, I find. grew up with uh, no, they're I, pretty I, much I, the same. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I found, I found this one a little, little bit lower on the IQ scale. <laughs> I think that we haven't seen him enough, yeah. but he yeah. was really stupid always. Yeah, but, but his, I mean, we're we're thinking we're talking voices here. For voice, yes. I think he's fine. Yeah. I oh think yeah, it was a me. great fit, and um, it was. Like the original had come back yeah. pretty much. For me. I mean, I think it's fine. It's just for I grew up with the original in both with him in this and mm. in in Darkwing, so I I got used to that voice. But this one I'll probably I mean, I'll get used mm. to it. Um, and then uh, Mrs. Bleakley or Beakley, sorry, Beakley. Uh, I am very sorry, but I'm going to butcher her name as well. Uh, talks. Uh, Talks all a Just put the name right here. I am so sorry. I'm really bad with, the, with most names. Um, she's good. I like her a lot. Very, very, very different characterization on this character. Instead yeah. of just being like a bumbly nanny 
motherly she's like kind of thing. Nanny. Now she's kind of <laughs> she's, yeah. She's it's back, literally just calling super, super nanny. It's literally super um, nanny. But she's not. <laughs> yes, she is. No, she's not. She's not a she's not a secretary. Oh uh, yeah, that was I like that. That was yeah. funny. Um, I think she's great. She's filling the uh, the role of Ducksworth a little bit. The the yeah. butler that we had the, from the original series. I like who is Ducksworth. Not, doesn't I wonder seem if he's to be gonna, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he not. may come in later. I do remember an interview with uh, with the with the director saying that he's in the show somewhere. Okay. So that could mean he's a background character now, and that could mean he's in the foreground, and we'll see him in a couple episodes. Mm. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. And then, of course, Donald Duck is voiced by uh, Tony and Selmo, who is, he's been the voice of Donald since 1985, so. Just as incomprehensible. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, think, I, could, I could understand. You, you need it. training to yeah. understand Donald in when, large doses. Yeah, when we were watching this to get, like, notes for our vlog, I literally, every time he spoke, had to watch it at least a couple times to at least get kind of what he was saying. <laughs> it, was it was really bad. <laughs> sometimes it's a little harder than others, but yeah. I mean, for the most part, he's not horribly difficult to understand. Mm-hmm. Oh no, like, it's, it, it's made yeah. funnier by the fact that the other characters seem to just perfectly understand yeah. what he's saying. Like, he's the only one that talks like this. Mm-hmm. Um... So that's that's pretty cool, and I mean, we're excited to see where this goes. The original DuckTales had like 100 episodes in four seasons and a movie, so who knows if this is going to do that well, but I believe the first season is supposed to have 21 episodes, not yes. including the, two-part, um, the two-parter we just watched. Um, that's not really... It's a it was. Was, it was. It was 40 minutes. 40 some minutes. It was uh, split into two. Of, no, no. It was a two bar. <laughs> yeah. They, that's why they played the uh, the intro in the middle. Yeah, I was wondering about that. When I looked at the timestamp when the intro actually it was started, a it was prologue. just yeah, at It was the still middle. a two part. It was like a prologue. Man. No, it was, it was a two part. <laughs> but we digress. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess now we will get into the nitty gritty of the actual content of uh, the episode. So, spoilers. Scene. Exterior. Houseboat. Perfect. Best. 10 out of 10. So yeah, now we're in the houseboat. And um, Donald and the three children are there, and they're trying to hurriedly like get him out of the houseboat. Make, making him a meal. Too. Yes, and yes. And, and trying to change his clothes and everything. I love, I love the joke, actually, where it's like you want to dress for the job you want, not the job you have, which is no job. That was amazing. Like, yeah, the jokes are really good. I yeah. really like the humor. So they were trying to get him out of the house, and we learn that they mislead the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how long? How long is it gonna did take you? you? Get here. I, I, I don't know. know. Where I am. <laughs> That but yeah, so good. and they just like smiled evenly at each other, and they looked really cute in their They're life vests. Like yeah. But anyways, yeah. so they're trying to get him out, get him out quickly, and then um, he gets like part way down the dock, and yeah, it starts. Yeah, and uh, Dewey is hot wiring the boat to go Dewey. on a little. It was Dewey. It was Dewey. It was Dewey. No, it's yeah. Dewey. Remember, Dewey. it was Dewey. Oh, Dewey. Like, who, like, yeah, Dewey. Who? Like, Dewey. <laughs> yeah, who's Dewey? <laughs> and because of their blunder, they are taken to Scrooge, who is the only person Donald has to babysit the triplets while he mm-hmm. goes for his job interview. Yes. Um, then we kind of cut to seeing Scrooge actually doing some boring, like, business. business. And? Where is he? Scene. Scene. Exterior. Bank. Duck bank. <laughs> Duck bank. <laughs> It has a name, I don't remember. Yeah. Duck Bank. Whatever the name is, you see him at a like corporate meeting and he looks bored out of his freaking mind. Playing, playing with like, gold coins. And there's three vultures there. Yeah, yes. which is actually really funny. Giving a report. Like, giving his report. Like, that, but that joke is so oh, on good. point. Uh, then he exits, gets into the car, and. No, 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 he throws the gold coins well, he and puts them back. Then he yeah, goes yeah, to the yeah. car. Yeah. Gets in the car and you Ooh. see him. That launch pad right, is McQuack. actually yeah. his uh, his limo driver. driver. But he's just McQuack now. Well, yeah, nice launch pad. McQuack. No, he's launch pad. He's still launch pad. I don't think he states it. Launch yeah, pad. yeah, they do. He just the kids yeah. call him launch pad. Yeah, later yeah. On. yeah. Um, which and is a big change because in the original he was just the pilot. Yeah, yeah. He was, so now he has like, like a little bit more. Jobs. I guess. He's a bad driver. He doesn't he's know. really he has, bad. He has no office. But the road is kind of his, his office. office. <laughs> yeah. 
So it's like, again, great And jokes. then, we are... Then, Scrooge pulls up to Duck Manor. And set the scene. <laughs> Exterior, Duck Manor. Uh, Scrooge McDuff pulls into the driveway and Donald's car is in the way of the gate. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Drama. And uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are freaking out because they know of all his adventures, like... And all of the things that Scrooge has done, and they learn when uh, Donald talks to him that that is their great uncle. And they Dewey, just freak out. Dewey, like, goes out of the car, rolls over the top, and back in, and they're like all just it's cheering so, in the backseat. It was so really funny. cute. Wasn't that Huey that whole? It was no, Dewey. Dewey. This is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dewey. Blue shirt. Just refer to them by color. Bluey. You look like as bad as Scrooge. You Dewey. Oh yeah. Like, it was no, Huey. no, it was no, it's Huey, Dewey, and Bluey. No, no, it's Huey, Huey Dewey, Bluey, and Louie. No, guys, it's Huey, Bluey, the and third, the other one. The third one. Yeah, the third one, or Bluey when later yeah. on. I like, I like Bluey. <laughs> yeah, Dewey was my favorite, by yeah, far. No, Louie's my favorite. The evil. The evil, evil twin. But we'll get to that. Yes. Um, really don't really have a they end up getting left with Scrooge, and mm. at first he's kind of okay, he's reading the newspaper, and they're sitting on the other end of this long table. Yeah. And uh, Miss Beakley there, and she's like, talk to your nephews. And then they like come up, and they start pestering, and he gets annoyed, and he sends them to a room. He... They also make the point of saying, like, what happened to you? What are you doing now? You were so great before. And yeah. that really gets to Scrooge. Like, he starts Planning. reminiscing, <laughs> reminiscing, and pretty much wants to really go on an adventure again. Mm -hmm. And then he, you see him, like, he puts them in the room, gives them a bag of marbles. Yeah. Uh, hilarious. And he counted so, them. He counted them so that they, when they give them back at the end of the day, he'll make sure that there's the correct but, amount but, of marbles. But they say it was a gift first. It was a but gift you gotta, first, gotta get back the gift. Get back. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to ruin how they get out of the room because that's really funny, so we'll yeah. leave that. Um, but once they eventually get out of the room, they, they want to explore. They're kidnapped. Uh, yes. Webby. Yes. And it turns out to be Webby, who has them held up in this room that has all of this crazy stuff. Like, Webby's character is a complete 180 yeah. from the original. Um, She's, me, like, the researcher and, like, yeah. crazy obsessed. Yeah. Uh, for me, I get a really big Mabel vibe from her, from Mabel from Gravity Falls. Uh, there's a lot of that, like, it's that kind of energetic, happy-go-lucky kid. Yeah. She's got a grappling hook. You I know? didn't really yeah. think of Mabel until Dex just mentioned it, but it's just the it's kind of girl character that we've been seeing a fair amount now in cartoons. So it, I get what they're going with, where they're like, we want to get rid of this one stereotype of the useless girl but, character, but we're just going to put on a different guys, stereotype now. So yeah. it's but, just your give and take of which one you think is better. <laughs> but you get one of the best Easter eggs at that scene too, where you see yeah, there's a little, past Webby. As a little doll like, on the oh, yeah, staked yeah, yeah. on the wall. <laughs> yeah, with her really old nice. outfit. But I love Webby. Yeah, she's <laughs> great. And we have the joke of the best oh. friends. Oh, it's like, if we say yes, will you let us go? It's like, oh, that's a silly thing to say, new best friend. <laughs> yeah. So that was really cute. Um, they end up eventually asking Webby how they could get out, and she takes them through the vents. No, it was how, what do you do, do for, for fun? fun? Right. And then she opens the, the vents. vents. And then they, they kind of go into the vent. And, and they get into this room right. with a whole bunch of treasures. And then... Which are all from, like, the past se series. Some of them you see. You, you, you see, see a lot. Of you see the, you gold, see the, the gold sun coin. gold sun pile that reflected light in one of the old episodes. Uh, and a few other. I think one of them was actually an homage to Aladdin's lamp. Yeah. You saw a lamp in there that looked oh. a lot like Aladdin's lamp. Oh, I didn't um, notice the lamp. Yeah, there was a couple of things. It was one of the ones that uh, Louis put the little... Oh, uh, yes. He's like, I, he's, yes. what, he's old, he's gonna die soon. I wanna, yeah. I wanna claim stuff. Uh, Louis kept calling him old and, oh, like, yeah, Grandpa, so like, like, it's like, are you able to go you know, over there? Are you okay? <laughs> he's like, because you're old and it hurts to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good jokes there. Oh, um, and, yes, in the last scene, Webby asks... Which one is the evil twin? And they I both Louis. indicate yeah. Louis. And he kind of goes like, eh. Yeah, he's he like, eh. Which is really great. Because he knew it was true. It. Um, during the point also, uh, as they're going through the vent, um, Dewey overhears Scrooge saying, family's nothing but Oh, trouble. yes. And that kind of sours and a little bit. He's the him. only one that heard, and yeah. through the 
rest of the episode, that's a key point of yeah, like, his interaction with Scrooge. I'm hoping that in subsequent episodes, we'll see that kind of development with, between Scrooge and the other boys as well. Yeah, like... Not just Dewey. This um, is, yeah, this is kind of getting farther in, but this episode, especially towards the, like, mid and later half, was definitely Dewey-focused. Mm -hmm. And it, how he interacted with Scrooge, because he was the only one that Scrooge... He was the only one that Scrooge didn't know the name of, yeah. and he was the only one that heard um, Scrooge say that like he didn't care about family because it only got on the way and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And Which is he, ironic considering something we learn later. Yes, and um, and he was the one that really helped with the plot that we haven't quite gotten to yet. We will get there. Yes. Um, so. And insanity and Susan, we don't want to ruin anything about yeah. in the in the uh, the room there. We yeah. don't want to mention any of that. That whole scene is hilarious. It is. Everything that happens in there is pure insanity and yeah. hilarity. And Scrooge ends up saving them from the situation they right, got themselves yeah. in, but then he gets, angry. gets angry. into a situation yeah. and the children and Launchpad help him get out of it. And you have to set up the scene quick, Tithan, go. Where are they? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Scene. Exterior. <laughs> Scrooge is on a dragon. Yeah. What? He's just on a dragon now. <laughs> That's the scene and location. <laughs> That's the They're scene not location. moving. He's just on it. He's, he's, on, a he's on a dragon going down like, Duxburg. Yeah, through Duxburg towards his, his duck bank. 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 <laughs> because <laughs> the thing likes gold. Yes. The track gold. It eats gold. It's and, a dragon. Uh, without giving too much away there, they, they beat the dragon. Yep. And uh, Scrooge. With the hose of destiny. With the hose. Dude! <laughs> he just said. No spoilers! For it's really jokes. a spoiler! For jokes, man! That wasn't really a joke! Whatever! Anyway, it, the whole experience endears Scrooge them, and he decides, you know, screw it, we're all gonna go to freaking Atlantis! Yes! So, in. Because of the phenomenon that phenomenon. was happening. Every 50 years, I think they yeah. said. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's I like, don't uh, think they specified it. Is, it's just every, every, they it's said like, every 50 years a snowstorm happens. There I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember a time, but they the definitely said. Really. We're going to put a pin in it. Okay. We're going to put a pin in it. Yeah, so. But they end up in like true DuckTales fashion. They yes. take a freaking sub. Wait, no, 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 next, no. We have to talk about Donald. We but, do but, have to yeah, talk but, about yeah, Donald. Yeah, before that, so it's the next scene is... Alright, fine, we'll talk right. about Donald. <laughs> go on. We'll let T-Fab go because he's a huge dog. The next, the next scene is... <laughs> Set the scene up. Interior. <laughs> <laughs> Interior. That was an office space. Uh, <laughs> no, no, a it's lobby. like it was, it a, was lobby, a lobby, a lobby for uh, Glumgold Industry. Yeah, but we that'll come into play yeah. later for those of you. Who oh, and that was this. a hilarious scene because Donald and uh, the other character that I recognize. Oh, you mean, him, yeah, a character looked. Like eerily similar to Roxanne from that was like, it. Yeah, from goofy, goofy movies. movies. Yeah. So I don't know if that was done on purpose. I'm guessing I'm probably pretty was, sure because it was like exactly. But anyways, so Roxanne was to his one side, and he looks over, and she has this beautiful staple in her resume, and his is all like flappy, and he just freaks the fuck out <laughs> trying to get his staple. Like in just classic it's hilarious. Donald, Do Donald Duck fashion. It was. Just wonderful. Swear and and going. He ultimately ends with him stapled to the wall. Yes. So that but, is just perfect. But, but he gets hired. He does get hired. To be the accountant. No. To be the no, <laughs> no, He gets no. hired to be their sailor. He yes. to be. So that while that's happening, they, they stop the dragon and they're on their way in the submarine to, to Atlantis. Atlantis. Uh, more hilarity ensues there. We yes. don't want to spoil too much of that. Um, and then they finally uh, arrive in Atlantis and before which is upside down which is upside down yeah because it sank because of the poor structure <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> they, did, they didn't think but no 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 they were so focused on security and traps that it got they didn't focus on structure so it sank and, <laughs> and flipped <laughs> over and that's how it became and, the uh, lost city yeah and essentially what ends up happening is both Scrooge and the gang are going to uh, going to Atlantis, and then Glumgold and Donald, who and he has the, hired, like, and, uh, and the, the assassins, kind of like an thing. assassin, and then <laughs> these two Russian wolves, yeah, um, are with him, also going because they want the jewel of Atlantis, which yes. is supposed to be this like extremely rare crystal that yes. you can find and inside the temple. That would make him the richest yeah, duck, the richest rather duck. than <laughs> Scrooge, because this whole show just continues. 
to, you know, support the 1%, but... Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> in one of the scenes, you see the 1% <laughs> magazine. Yes, you do. He's reading the 1% magazine. There's so many... There, Like, I can't stress enough. Watch the background, because there are so many good jokes hidden around in the background, even a bit in the foreground, so just pay really close attention to that, because mm. that's one thing that, like, Disney has always done is hidden little Easter eggs and little jokes. In, yeah, in so you could program. probably quite easily watch it a number of times right. and yeah. still have things that you didn't notice. And I mean, that was for me, I've watched it three times, and each time I've watched it I've seen new things, because I'm mm. focusing on different parts of the, the, the background and the foreground and whatnot. So definitely keep an eye on that stuff, so it's really great. Um, so... They go through Atlantis, and the Glungles... There's traps. There's yes. Traps. But most of the traps are on what is now the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. And Dewey, who is amazing and like all cocky and awesome, like is really disappointed yeah. about this because he <laughs> wanted to like beat the traps and go through the traps. And in one scene, he's just sitting on the now floor, which is usually the, the ceiling. ceiling. Mm -hmm. And he, they're like just looking at him like, why are you here? And he's like, Stupid. and then there's just uh, saws, <laughs> buzz saws on the ceiling. I just, I just like this, I just like this stupid upside down trap. <laughs> yeah. Out of anger, he kicks a pebble and it, it activates a trap. Snakes. Which is snakes. A bunch of snakes all on Just him. a pile. Like a pile of snakes and on him. <laughs> And he gets all like swollen and messed yes. up from the venom, yeah. and they're just like, whatever, it's fine, it's launch pad, he's gonna be okay, like, we don't even care, they just keep going, like. <laughs> oh, and also, through this, Webby never told um, her granny that she was actually going oh, with yes. them. So, um, uh, Louis? It's Louis, yeah. Louis says, you have to tell her. But tell her that you're at a friend's house. Lie. It's the responsible thing to do. Which is just the kid after my own heart here. Like, I love this boy. Yes. They're so all great, though. We should yes. we should mention that, like, um, Huey is getting a lot of good jokes in there as well. We're, yes. we're, it's just the scenes we want to kind of leave open for you guys to see mm -hmm. first. Oh. He's hilarious in, like, all those scenes. Yes. Um, pretty much. Oh, this is at least my interpretation. <laughs> 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 this is my interpretation of the... Children, I guess you could jump in if you mm -hmm. disagree or agree. Sure. So, Louis, he was the evil twin. He lies. Triplet. Oh. The tr yeah, the triplet. Yeah, there's, there's three of them. <laughs> Whatever. Numbers, numbers. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to stop playing with that paper clip and maybe pay attention? <laughs> Did you break it? No. <laughs> He's like taking a paper clip apart. Focus. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Louis matches here. the green t shirt. Um, he's now in a green hoodie. Yeah. So he uh, can put his hands in his pocket and yes. pew. Um, <laughs> quack <he's>, pack cool. <laughs> no, not he's, quack pack cool. <laughs> he's the liar and the... Fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> he's the, he's the evil triplet. Yes, Let's evil triplet. summarize. And, yeah, he doesn't really follow the rules, no. but, yeah. So, uh, Hubert, or Huey, is the red... Mm -hmm. T-shirt with red hat. So he, his design is fairly similar yeah, to I think, the original. I think they pretty they much added his. hair. Yeah. Um, so he I, found, <laughs> yeah, he I found was the more of a leader type planner. Like he, yeah, when, he was a planner. Yeah, whenever he talked, he was like, okay, let's go about it this way. Mm -hmm. And trying to like lead them and give them structure. He's also the one I found that was the most like the glue kind of. Yeah, like, I'm the one that's he, gonna keep everyone together. He definitely seemed he the most adult. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense that that's kind of what he's gonna be like as yeah. we go forward. Um, and then of course Dewey. Dewey is, is the best. He, he is, is such the a most problem. cocky. Um, I could do it, confident yeah. and just hyper little just, child. I found that every time that one of the children did something hilariously amazing, it was always him. At least personally, like when he rolled over the car and when he like did uh, hot wiring of the boat and when he was ba uh, break dancing and how the episode ended, it was all him. Mm -hmm. He was good. I Louie for me though. I like Louie. 
really don't have a favorite. Uh, not yet? No, I have the siblings, no, not really. No, I, he's, he's, which a, he's, a, he's a Donald Duck. I'm a, I'm a uh, du Donald? Like, I'm a, I like Donald Duck, I like Launchpad McQuack, and Scrooge McDuck. Those are literally the three yeah, I really so, like. Oh. And then I think Golden Gold, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's so Gold, rich, rich and, and so Scottish. Scottish. But I'm the one wearing a kilt. <laughs> like good stuff, classic. Um, so, I was completely just my sunglasses. Keep going, man. Keep, <laughs> Keep going. going. Keep going. Time is money. <laughs> All right, and we're back. What the fuck was I saying? Uh, I we, fin we finished. Where did gold. we? Where? Where did we? End? We're in oh. Atlantis. We're in Atlantis. Okay, so, all right, here we go. Okay, so. Glumgold and his crew show up there too, and that was all it. of the shenanigans that are happening, yes. like all of the traps going off. Uh, at one point, they enter a room with lasers, and Huey like <laughs> on, a, on a really narrow, like suspension kind of bridge, and this is an obvious trap. And Dewey not being the like, he fucking dances through it. Yes, <laughs> he's like, cocky. Very he's a cocky shit. But each time he hits one of the lasers, Donald's fire underneath. is supposed to spout up yes. at him. But Donald, Donald's yes, <laughs> Donald saves the day without anyone knowing Tell with again. a shield and at one point near the end, Dewey's foot is just, just activating yeah, constantly him. the thing <laughs> and Donald's like, please get <laughs> off because he's like burning up almost. Yeah, and it's and, 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 and um, Keyfab's just breaking clippings. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Scrooge pretty much in three seconds just gets to the other side in a really awesome way, and... He's that pogo king. Yeah. <laughs> so, eventually, um, Dewey gets out of the way, and then Donald lets free the fire, and it just destroys this bridge. Which so, separates the groups. Yes, exactly. Um, we don't want to spoil the end, the bit where they're yeah. actually in the treasure room, so we're going to leave that as is, because that's another really great mm. scene, and you definitely have to watch that. But so what ends up Glum happening is Glumgold gets a, 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 um, a, the gem, the, the crystal thing. Yes, and he, he gets a gem, a gem, and he goes to blow up Atlantis, but Scrooge and them end up ex escaping with their own crystal. Yes. So there's two crystals now playing through. We don't want to get too much into what happens with those. It's already too much. Almost. It's already too much. <laughs> almost, but we don't want to get too much away there. So. With those, oh, they both and, escape. And the mercenaries are awesome and like, can we can we borrow a ride? Yeah, and like the mercenaries, <laughs> like the, the the crazy chick with the knives, yeah. and the two Russian wolves are with them. Um, and then they get back to Duckburg and Glumgold's doing an interview already. Yeah. And yeah, it's like this conference set up yeah, with yeah. like Scrooge multiple comes reporters. In, more insanity ensues, which is a hilarious. And, yes. and ultimately Donald's boathouse blows up. Because of Dewey. He's doing the engine running. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I the guess. whole day the engine was running because he hot wired it and it just blew up. It just blew up. So now they're all living together with Scrooge. And uh, that's pretty much where that episode ended. So it, we've got all the characters together in the don't. We, we don't know if there's a preview thing, though, for the next episode. Uh, not that we've seen, and we don't want to yeah. get too many spoilers. Yeah. The really the only other thing that we can think of, and there's big spoilers on this because this is just a really crazy thing, so if you don't want to know the last little thing, oh, we'll, just, yes. we'll jump ahead, yes. and then we'll, we'll put a time Big stamp, spoiler! Put a timestamp down on the video where they can jump to if they want to if they want to get around yeah, sure. this part. Um, it turns out that not only was Donald Scrooge's like sidekick in all his adventures, but so was the triplet's mother. Yes. Now this is a pretty big thing since her character has not really been prominent, and a lot of people don't know that she's actually Donald's twin. Oh, twin I sister. just yeah, I didn't know that. So see, like, even our own group didn't know that because she is such a minor character, really only utilized. Yeah, in, in the I never in like a few. Yeah, yeah in the I comics never have thing. seen her. Really. I think that she really like in the the forties, like the sixties era, she was she was like utilized a bit, and then subsequently since then she's like not been seen in like anything. Hmm. So people just kind of made an assumption that like she's got to be Donald's sister or something for them well, to be his, has uh, to his be. nephews. Yeah. But she's actually a character. And we don't know where she is. We don't know what's going on with her. But uh, Dewey does yeah, fix this Dewey's portrait. Dewey's the one that finds it. it and and I just goes, like, assume he will eventually tell them. Yeah, I'm well, assuming that the next episode will probably, we'll probably pick up from that yeah, point probably. after. But he literally, he, he like lifts the little torn bit of the portrait, sees his mom, there's mm -hmm. a pause, and then he goes, Mom? And then the yeah, episode that, ends. Yeah. So it's definitely building up what I'm assuming is going to be a season-long arc. 
Um, I'm Hopefully. guessing. Um, <laughs> we'll wait about the next two seasons. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Who knows how long it's going to take? I'm not against this. I really like cartoons with uh, with arcs overarching uh, stories. Again, Gravity Falls is my favorite cartoon, and that was just one long, <laughs> one long story. And DuckTales definitely is going to have some mysteries. That intrigue is there for me. Stylistically wise, for like how they're doing the storytelling and how they're doing the humor, it's is great. Very, yeah, and it's yeah. and to me, I know that I'm gonna keep saying it. It's very reminiscent from Gravity Falls, which is so nice. It's a uh, super nice because uh, I, I didn't really get that feel from it. I get the personally feel from it, but I mean, I've also watched all found, Gravity Falls I've... many, many times over, so I don't know if maybe mm. for me it's a different sense. Maybe. Well, um, I'm gonna say Gravity since Gravity Falls did so well, they yeah, did not as like they're a, they're they're, that mystery. Story they're, yeah, they're I probably think. taking that as homage. like a reference yes. or like, oh, this did really well. Mm. Let's like adding mm. like because which isn't a bad bit. thing. No, and oh, no, they it's don't have any. They it's don't have any like, shows right now that are like a mystery with like a lot of supernatural yeah. like some of the shows have some elements of yeah but it always had that Even oh it did original. always have that but not to the, not this kind of mystery element not really oh, in the no. same way it was it, it was more episodic in the mysteries Maybe well, yeah, two or three but, but this seems like an overarching yeah. uh, season long I mean this is just my this is my oh yeah guess. I don't know well, if that's but they still have the very this is what they do oh yeah the episode. go ahead T F <laughs> isn't Alice Hirsch Writing with them or helping? No, them? no, no, not I thought, at all. I thought, no. I thought. No, he's not. No, he's not. He, he. I don't even think he does anything for Disney anymore. He's working. On, oh, supposedly working on that Detective Pikachu movie with the. Uh, what? With I don't the, think uh, that's actually director of me. the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> if that's true. Um, if, if that's wait, true, then Danny you, DeVito you, has to be that, the Pikachu. That was an overload of information. Yeah, that's that is, what. What? Yeah. Um, we interrupt this DuckTales thing. No, 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 Just, no, well, just, just give, give me a second. <laughs> just, just end it there. What? what? But, uh, it was good. What? Yeah, yeah. That, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, so yes. For <laughs> the, the next episodes, um, we are going to aim to try to get logs out relatively soon after the episode airs. Uh, the only real issue to that is we don't have Disney XD. We are in Canada. So we have to wait for the episodes to air. Actually, I believe Disney will be... Uh, I don't think they're going to be putting all of them I up think, on I think, I, no, 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 no. I think they're going to do kind of like Gravity Falls where it's like um, if you don't have the channel, they'll have somebody streaming it. Well, that I has. Mean, maybe mm -hmm. there's a chance of that, but the biggest issue nice. is really just that I'm going to be in school. These guys work. So it's just a matter of just making our schedules work. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're, we're gonna try. We are it's worth it. We are dedicated to this. And if this three AM uploads, well, <laughs> um, we might try doing it with some other shows as well. Yeah. Um, I this is definitely our like I wanna, tests. I, yeah. I really want to watch that uh, really weird like Gravity Falls knockoff. It's like the oh, way God, the no. way the way no, the wayside or whatever. No, 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 no. It looks. <laughs> Not Wayside. Wayside is own. No, 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 no. It's, it's called the way, the way, the way, something. It's, it's a really weird. I don't but know. we digress. We digress. Um, if this goes well, we will continue to do this. Um, yeah. If it turns out to be easier than we're anticipating, um, we'll probably come at it with some other shows. Yeah, because ideally, personally, I like to do a retro. Personally, I watch mm -hmm. a ton of things, and same yeah. with. Well, yeah. like different kinds of things. Yes. Little Miss watches a ton of anime. Woo! And uh, we're watching Rick and, and Morty. I watch, we watch <laughs> cartoons. Um, a good mix of both, yeah. like adult cartoons and then like general audience. Well, cartoons. if we if this does well, we can also do like a retro, like a rewind kind thinking, of for like yeah, old might, series might that we remember so watching. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll give this a good shot. We don't want to like shoot, shoot too high. Yeah, we we're, do we're, that, we're that a lot. We do that a lot. Um, if this works out, the next show I would like, I would like ideally to do this with is the Tangled series, since, um, Yes, I'm up for that. I will not be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Tangled... High five. Um, personally, I really, really like the Tangled series. I'll just sing its praises. But if, if it comes wait, out, we'll do wait, that. Wait, wait, uh -oh. I, 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 will wa I will watch the Big Hero 6 series when that comes oh, out. Oh, yeah, the Big Hero 6 cartoon that'll that's be That's coming out soon. soon. Um, there's already some reviews yeah. for that. I mean, Jesus, I don't want to plug too many things, but <laughs> I love Disney! Um... There's, hopefully it also proves to be really good. Um, Hashtag invites the D23. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'll do <laughs> We're crying. <laughs> I, I just sit at home watching it all day, giving them, like, the, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. 
like over and over during All right. the whole so thing. Alright, so let's get back. Let's we'll get back, get back on track. Um, DuckTales has been amazing. I'm yes. really happy. So first far, episode, so far, yeah, very. First episode, I would give it like an 8. I would give it 9.5 quacks. I would, yeah, nice. I would give it a higher. I'd give it a 9 <laughs> something probably. Um, I know that right they're, now they're, it's holding yeah. really high on things like IMDb and uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It's holding mm. really high. And they've earned that. It is yes, really it's, good. it's really good. They're, they're made the they're, hype that it had to compete with. There was only one or two. I only had that once. I only had that once. And that was, Where? I think it was during like, yeah, the summer. Part. Uh, no, I'm not that kind of slow for me. I thought that was fine. I get, I get that was like one of those scenes that she's trying to get yeah. through. They should have traveled by map. I thought, I thought that <laughs> they should have followed Scrooge's map. Um, that was the best. Okay, honestly, we want to talk about it, we don't want to spoil it too much, because really the jokes have to be the first thing. Um, the show will watch. Yeah, you definitely, it's really good. It's worth it. Um, don't let me just hear of it being a reboot, because I don't want to spoil it. structure. We 